Have you ever wondered which traits you can roll on a legendary hunter at a given bloodline rank? Well, I'm here to tell you that you are not limited to the traits that you have unlocked at your BR right now, but you don't have the whole trade pool available at any given BR to roll your traits from either. The answer lies somewhere in between and it's not as balanced as you might think. During my last 10 prestigious, I rolled 708 legendary hunters to get 2124 traits, spending 141,600 600 hunt dollars and I tracked all of it. We're gonna take a look at the drop chances of trades on legendary hunters, the fact that you can get trades on them before you actually unlock them, some design choices to the trade system that you might not know about and how you can maximize your chances of rolling your favorite trade by applying this knowledge. But before we get into it let me do some explaining. And on a side note I know that the sample size might still not be statistically significant enough to draw any conclusions but you get a rough idea of how it works. Since buying legendary hunters in bulk is very pricey and I had to make the data somewhat comparable with the finite amount of legendary hunter rolls, I needed to define specific PRs where I would roll a stack of new hunters. Doing it this way kept me also from going insane because, as you can imagine, clicking the same three buttons 708 times and writing down the names of the traits you see is extremely repetitive and taxing on your sanity. On the other hand, if you show me the pictures of three traits next to each other, I can now tell you the names quicker than you can say useless. One way that came to mind how I could split the legendary hunter rolls somewhat evenly across a whole prestige was by using the hunter tiers. If there was any other significant factor in determining which traits you get other than the BR, it would be these tiers. There are three tiers for non-legendary hunters that you can buy or get from quick play. These tiers determine the cosmetics of your hunter, the coolness of their weapons and the number of traits they come with. So each time I hit BR1, BR33, and BR66, I would spend all the money I had at that point on legendary hunters and track their traits. At least that was the theory. Practically it's very hard to land exactly on these tier borders because you'd have to keep count of the XP you gain while playing a match. I didn't do this, so I would shoot over these milestones all of the time. But that's okay, I tracked the traits as close to the tier borders as possible. But let's start with tier 1. Here we have the most comparable data because it's all rolled at exactly BR1. You might have not noticed this, because if you're only rolling one legendary hunter at BR1 on every prestige, the traits you get on them don't really sink in. But if you do it 20 times in a row, you will start to notice a pattern. Yes, on BR1 all of your legendary hunters will come with determination. And it's not because you only have so few traits available at BR1, you actually have access to 13 different traits, with Deadeye Scopesmith being the highest one unlocked at BR19, but we'll get into that later. And when I say unlocked, I mean you have reached the same level as the trait with your BR, so you can add this trait to your hunter yourself manually with trade points. But by rolling a new legendary hunter, you will be able to get the traits before you actually unlock them. What's also very interesting is that when rolling the traits of a legendary hunter, you will never see determination in the second or third slot. It will always be in slot number one. And since at BR1 of all the 13 traits available to you, determination is the only one of them that comes in slot number one, you will get it on every legendary hunter until you have reached the BR at which you are able to roll levering, which is somewhere between BR2 and BR8, because levering only comes in slot number one as well. So every trade has a fixed slot. Which means when rolling a legendary hunter, each of the 51 traits can only come up in their predefined slot 1, 2 or 3. Now before you go all Sherlock on me and yell at me because these add up to more than 100%, yes, they add up to 300%, because each one of the 3 traits as its fixed slot. So three slots, each having their 100% probability, add up to 300%. So how far above your actual BR can you get trades before you unlock them? If we look at the data and ignore the zeros above this line that are very likely caused by my lack of enough tries for them not to be zeros anymore, you will see that on BR1 you can get a trade up to 18 levels above your current BR which is Deadeye Scopesmith. Oddly enough, there are a few traits you unlock before Deadeye Scopesmith, but which at least I never got in all of my 158 tries at BR1, which are Levering, Fanning and Iron Sharpshooter. They seem to be simply disabled. So the question remains, are you gonna be able to get traits up to 18 levels above your current BR on any BR, or does it change somehow while you're leveling up your bloodline rank? Looking at the tier 2 bracket, you can see that at BR34 I was able to roll Decoy Supply, which is a rank 50 
51 trade, so it's 17 levels above. At BR35 it was the highest trade I could get as well and is now 16 levels above. This trend continues until BR40, with the BR rising and the spread of the trades getting smaller. This makes me think that for certain ranges of your BR there is a fixed ceiling of how high ranked the trades can be that you will be able to roll on your legendary hunters. You can see this trend manifesting again during my rolls with early tier 3 hunters. On a side note, if you look at these tier borders, you will see that in both cases, at BR33 and BR66, that in the BRs following them I always got more trades than at these borders as well as having a higher ceiling. This suggests that tier 2 actually starts at BR34 and tier 3 possibly actually starts at BR67. If not, then at least that's where I saw a big difference in the trade drop behavior happening. So what's the probability for each trade? Now I don't want to bore you by going through 5100 probability values, so let's look at it from a little bit further away. Generally speaking, once you have reached the BR of a trade, your chance of rolling this exact trade will drop, because with leveling up your BR, you will be unlocking more trades the game can choose to give you for your legendary hunter. On the other side of the spectrum, that also means that your chance of getting this trade will be the highest once you are able to roll it on a legendary hunter, because there are fewer trades in your trade pool at this point from which the game can pick from. Now what can you do with this knowledge? Two things. You can yell at Crytek about the fact that 100 hands and bolt thrower have different fixed trade slots, making it possible for you to roll both on the same legendary hunter, but you can also see that if you want to get a specific trade, it makes sense to roll a lot of legendary hunters a few levels before you actually unlock the trade, giving you the highest chance of actually getting it. So if you want to get a trade that has a 10% chance of showing up, like for example Determination on Bloodline rank 100, on average you will need to roll 10 legendary hunters, spending $2000 to see that trade on one of them. Of course these probability values are very hard to come by because they take a lot of tracking and my sample sizes are mostly far off a point where you can actually trust them, but I think with 158 hunter rolls on BR1 and 181 hunter rolls on BR100, those numbers specifically should be rather precise. That is why I have included a link to the spreadsheet in the description so you can use it as a kind of cheat sheet for yourself. On the last tab of the spreadsheet you will also see an overview of which trades come up in which slot. Good luck rolling your favorite trades and remember gambling can be addictive. Watch me battle my inner demons while playing the crossbow next. Oh no, I'm in a really bad spot right now if they push. Which they do. 